Welcome back. On March 18th, the final buzzer sounded in Sioux Falls, turning Dakota Valley boys basketball from defending champs into a dynasty, a historic stretch that began with heartbreak and ended with back-to-back -back unbeaten seasons and state titles. KC9 Sports takes a deeper look to the Panthers' path to glory for part one of our four-part series, Pursuing Perfection, the Dakota Valley Story. A moment that many in South Dakota and no one in Dakota Valley will forget anytime soon. The celebration of 53 consecutive wins and two straight perfect seasons. Back to back, baby, let's go! A culmination of the program's ability that was set in motion 11 years ago. So let's go back. We tried to teach super tough defense, push the ball, fast break, get kids excited about playing basketball. We were always going to play good defense while playing a fast-paced, up-tempo style, and it kind of threw a lot of teams off. Doing just that, Jason Kleiss and the Panthers broke the mold in 2012, appearing in the program's first ever state championship game. St. Thomas Moore taking on Dakota Valley. The lead settled for a state runner-up finish to St. Thomas Moore, DV had turned a corner setting a foundation for greatness and knowing it wouldn't be their only crack at a title. Oh, it definitely changed the trajectory of DV forever. It kind of brought the program to new heights and a new appreciation for Dakota Valley basketball and it kind of kind of put us on the map, as you'd say. Just to see them kind of fulfill what, what we felt um, they could be and um, you know, almost pulled off a state title that year and um, was, a, was a really special run. Sporting a combined record of 121 and 65 over the next eight seasons, DV will become a familiar face at state, earning trips from 2016 to 2018 in the canceled 2020 tournament, producing consistency as well as Division I talent and current USD guard Paul Bruns, a feather in DV's cap who saw varsity time as an eighth grader and averaged 10 points per game as a freshman, going on to become the program's then all-time leading scorer. But while the hunger grew for that elusive title, so was a special group of future Panthers. A collection of kids who started playing together as early as third grade, fostering a brotherhood that older siblings couldn't help but notice. Watching these kids as young kids run around in the neighborhood, and I noticed that bond at an early, early stage, and I knew they would stick together. We've got a lot of little brothers on the team is a cool thing for us um, that watch their brothers at state tournaments or their brothers uh, barely miss state tournaments. Um, our kids for sure um, learn from those and they weren't playing. Maturing together through the years, they get a front row seat to that state tournament experience as freshmen and sophomores on varsity in the 2020-21 season. But what they hadn't felt yet was the heartbreak as the Panthers would see a nine-point halftime lead slip away to Sioux Valley in the semifinals. I've never been so ticked off in my life, probably about anything sports related, to, um, to lose that game. And I guys felt the same way. It was just a kick in the gut. We always kind of sat back and wondered what was next to come with, with these kids coming up. Just like that one game, just for it to all be kind of ended just there. We knew that we didn't really want to feel that. We wanted this to go out and compete every game. The seeds were then planted, fueling a fire no one saw coming feeling a responsibility to finish what those before them had started. Was there a spark that you realized that allowed them to carry the torch right off the bat? I just saw a different resolve in our guys' minds um, right, right when that happened. Those building blocks that those guys set, set before us helped us you know, know what we had to do and that we could do it. Wanted to get back there and prove to everybody that um, that, that loss was, uh, was not was not the end uh, or, the, or the pinnacle for this team and, and it propelled us for sure. 